Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to yet again another video. We continue on in the hockey card collection videos today with the Colorado Avalanche. This should be a fun one here for you guys. So, regardless, we're going to get right into it. So, no jersey cards, but we do have a few signed cards to start. Uh, Miko Rontanen. Again, someone in the comments can let me know which ones are fake and which ones are real. Uh, I actually have two Rontanens, one from... 2018-19, the other is from 22-23, and then I do have an MVP signed Hale McCarr card. I believe that is fake, though. So you move into the rookies now. Let me get there real quick. Um, not a ton, but still a decent amount. You start off with JT Comfer, who I believe is now, I think he's on the Red Wings when he was a rookie. Uh, Tyson Jost has bounced around the league a lot. I am not 100% sure where he is at this point in his career. Again, this will be a little bit of a shorter one since the Avalanche have not been around as long. Yes, there will be a separate one for the Quebec Nordiques. So if you're wondering about that, that will happen. Uh, a few here for Bowen Byram. Just kind of like, you know, like those boxes that you typically get and it has all the rookies in them. That's the one I got for Byram, basically. Uh, Cameron Gauntz. I don't believe he's in the league anymore. If he is, he's in the minors. Uh, a few rookie cards here for Alex Newhook. A glossary rookies, a upper deck rookies, and a MVP rookies. So obviously, um, Newhook is also no longer with the Avalanche. Justin Baron, I don't believe is with the Avs either. It's kind of funny how all these guys are no longer with the team. Oscar Olafson, I don't think he's there either. Sorry for the glare. And then Shane Bowers, I don't believe he's there either. So all of those guys no longer on their respective teams. Um, it's it's kind of crazy to think that all those rookie cards are guys that are no longer on the team. Kind of kind of weird. Uh, so we'll move into the collection here. It really is not that big. I think it's like mainly like honestly four pages. So it shouldn't take us any or five pages. It shouldn't take us really. Uh, no longer than probably 15 minutes or so. So let's get straight into it here. Starting off with Nathan McKinnon. I feel like he's the right person to start off with here. Got one of these UD portraits. There's a few of these in the collection. I know there was one with the Red Wings. Uh, there is a veteran Parkhurst card. MVP. Base. And another base. If you're wondering, um, I actually do have some more cards that have been purchased um, that will be, be be added to the collection once the collection videos are done. So if you're wondering about that, yes, it is happening. Uh, Gabriel Landeskog, this is the first half of the Landeskog cards. There's a lot of Landeskog cards. Photo-driven Landeskog. There's a UD Canvas Landeskog. MVP. Artifacts. Base. And then you move into the second half. Of Landis Cog cards. This is the craziest part of the collection. Or of the Avalanche collection. There you go. Opichi. Another base. MVP. Another MVP. Found an ice battle, so I can move that out of the way. And then another base. So yeah, that's the Landis Cog app of the collection. Lots of cards there. Uh, moving into the next one, Joe Sackick. Only one Joe Sackick card with the Avalanche. Figured I have more, but nope. Um, Jerome McGinley. I have more Jerome McGinley cards for the Avalanche than I do of uh, Sackick. And I might have more Sackick, or I, I might have more McGinley cards on the Avalanche than I do on the Flames. Kind of a strange thing. Uh, Rob Blake. I believe he is the GM of the LA Kings. Ooh, there's a lot here for Rontanen. Uh, Miko Rontanen up next. Stat box fillers card. I have a few of those in the collection. Another base. Opichi. MVP. Another base. Another base. Opichi. And another base. Eric Johnson up next was a long avalanche uh, veteran. He has moved on since then. He's actually 
ironically enough, a Philadelphia Flyer. Kind of kind of weird to think um, as a Flyers fan that he is Philadelphia Flyer now. Jamie McGinn, why that is on the first page, who knows? You think someone like Makar. I think he's towards the back, actually. Uh, Peter Forsberg, he shoots, he scores card. Not a lot of these in the collection, but it's good to have it. Colin Wilson. So, so a lot of these guys you'll know. Most of them, except for a few guys from the 90s and early 2000s, they're still in the NHL. Tyson Berry. Matt Duchesne. Milan Hedgeduk. Hedgeduk. Uh, this is one of my first ever cards that I had in the collection. That's why Hedgeduk has a big impact on me in a way. Another upper deck. Moving on to Samuel Gerard. I believe he is still on the team, if if I am correct. He might not be, honestly. It's hard to keep track of all these over the years. Paul Stastny. I believe he retired a couple of years ago. He was still playing when the channel was going on. Alex Kerfoot. Chris Stewart didn't really play that long. Marek Svatos. Svatos. Here's a name for you. Sven Andraghetto. That's someone who's not very well known anymore. I kind of forgot that guy existed. Uh, TJ Galliardi. Nikita Zadorov. Neil Yakupov has his own cards, coincidentally enough. I don't think I have any Yakupov cards for the Oilers. Carl Soderberg. Greg Zanon. Zanon. Andre Burakovsky. I believe he is now on the Kraken. He might have retired. I think he's still playing. Uh, pierre Edward Belmar. Again, going to make some more team videos. I got to get some pre-recorded stuff out there because I am busy for the weekend. Uh, Valerie Nachushkin has his controversies for sure. Ian Cole also had his controversies for sure. And here he is, Kale McCarr. There is a lot of cards here. I figured he was going to be back, way, way further back. Yeah, there's a lot here. So we'll start off with a Domains. Again, as the collection goes on, it's only going to get bigger. I'm going to do this probably... I did it in 2020. I well, I never completed it fully. I did do it in 2022. I think after this year, I'm gonna wait two years, and then do it again, maybe. See if I'm making content by then still. But you know, ooh, he's wearing the A here. I can move him up to the captains. I will be doing that momentarily. Next up here, we have Makar's line mate, Devon Tays. Connor Timmons. Brandon Saad. Nazem Kadri. A few cards here for him. Matt Nieto. JT Comfer. If I can get the slot in there right. Logan O'Connor. Alexander Newhook. Bowen Byram. And moving into the goalies now, Jose Fedor. It's a hot prospects card. I guess it could count as a rookie card, but it doesn't say rookie, so I'm not going to really include that. Uh, Philip Grubauer. Not a lot of recent Avalanche goalies. Like, you're not going to see Georgiev here. I only have a few few cards for the goalies. Or, wait. So, hang on a second. All right, I don't know how I manage this. Um, so, apparently, I put three different goalies 
in here. I got Krubauer, I got Varlamov, and I got Kemper. Um, yeah, that clearly is not how it's supposed to go. So, uh, Darcy Kemper. That's Kemper. <laughs> I don't know how I messed that up. That's Grubauer. And then these are Varlamov. I don't know how I could have messed that. That's been like that for weeks, for months then. I don't know how I managed that. Uh, and then Patrick Waugh as a Spice Cement card, or SPX Cement. It is nine eighty nine out of nine ninety nine, So it's a pretty, I guess, a decently rare pull. Uh, but that is it for the Avalanche collection. Uh, next up then is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Again, just like the Avalanche, the Blue Jackets one won't be as long. Uh, if not, it'll be shorter. I actually think that they might have more pages than Columbus, which is kind of weird. But regardless, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. I know that these videos don't get a ton of views, but there are people that do ask for them and do want to see the collection. So I'm going to do it the whole way through. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.